Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today for this mushroom art video. I'm starting out this artwork using Higgins non-waterproof India ink. I'm using non-waterproof ink because I'm going to be using alcohol-based markers to color in these mushrooms. And if you use alcohol-based ink on top of non-waterproof ink, then the non-waterproof ink shouldn't smudge. The white brush that I'm using now is a small brush, I think size triple zero, so very small, from a pack of many small brushes that I got from Amazon for pretty cheap. And I'm using that to line all of the mushrooms and stars before I go in with water and ink to do the flat black background. I'm using water and ink to create those beautiful ink bleeds that you will be able to see later on in this video. The last time I made a YouTube video was in December of 2016, so it's been quite some time. And the way that I want to express myself and show my art to you and the rest of the world has changed a lot. I have changed a lot as a person and as an artist over these last few years and it is definitely going to be reflected in my upcoming videos. If there's anything that you think I could change or improve to make these videos more entertaining for you in the future, please leave a comment in the section below. Your feedback will help shape my future videos. I hope you enjoy watching my artistic process today and I'll be popping in every now and again with commentary. Here I am using a calligraphy pen. I like to use these pens to achieve a uniform line weight. That would simply not be possible, for me anyways, with a paintbrush. It's nice to be able to get thinner lines and thicker lines with the one pen and have them be very uniform. Now I'm thickening this line to cover up an obvious mistake that you can see. That line was super wiggly for some reason. And that's one thing that I like about ink work is the line weight makes a big difference. If you have thinner line weights next to thicker line weights, I really enjoy the way that looks. So I'm going to include that here. It's really just a bonus that it can be used to cover up mistakes.
I'm still pretty new at using Copic markers, so I'm not the best at blending, but I'm working on it, and I think I did a pretty good job with these gradients on the mushrooms here. The Copic marker ink did end up making the black India ink smear a little bit, but I believe that was because I didn't let it dry for long enough probably. I could have left it overnight, which I didn't do. I think that would have given it enough time to be totally dry for using the alcohol ink on top of it. The paper that I'm using is watercolor paper, which is definitely not the best at blending markers. So I could have chosen a smoother paper, which is a lot better for blending alcohol markers on, and that would have made the gradient a lot smoother. I definitely learned some things from this piece. I learned that I used way more ink than I needed to, especially watching the time lapse back. So that's a good lesson to learn. Yet another reason why I love time lapse videos of paintings and artwork. Ultimately, I am happy with the way that the gradients turned out on this piece. For these little leaves, I'm using the colors yellowish green and lemon yellow. Later on, I decided that was just not enough contrast, so I went in with duck blue and fixed that gradient up. I like to use binder clips to help hold my pages open and keep them flat when I'm using wet materials like the black inks that I was using and these metallic watercolors. With these metallic watercolors, I ended up using several layers in order to get them to be completely opaque. The two colored pencils that I'm using here are Ticonderoga brand. I got them from my sister many years ago after she stopped having a use for them. I had them for years just sitting around and then I found them one day and decided to try them out and it turns out they're really great colored pencils. I absolutely love them, but I'm just using the white colored pencil here to add some highlights, and I'm using a green colored pencil to add some detail onto the leaves. And that's it! The finished piece. I hope that you enjoyed watching my video today, and it gave you a few minutes to relax and not think about all the crazy stuff that's happening in the world or I hope that this video inspired you a little bit to go make some art of your own. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by leaving me a thumbs up, and if you would like to see any more future videos from me, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching my video today, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!